Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first part of question number ten. And in this, you are given a quadrilateral ABCD, where AB is given parallel to DC, and E and F are the midpoints of AD and BD. Then you have to prove that G is also the midpoint of BC. And in the second part, you have to prove that EG is equal to half of AB plus DC. Now. Let's first of all. I'm solving it orally. Then we can we can write the same thing. Let's talk about this triangle A B D. This triangle and this E is the midpoint of A D and F is the midpoint of this D B. And according to midpoint theorem, in a triangle, this triangle, if I join the midpoints, so clearly this line must be parallel to this line. And this line must be half of this third line. So this is the first case. So, but I prove that this line is parallel to this, and this is given parallel to this, so that uh, that is why all three lines are parallel. Now let's talk about this another triangle, which is D B C. In this triangle, I prove that this line is parallel to this line. So clearly. This line must be parallel to this part, and if this is the midpoint of this side, and again according to midpoint theorem, from the midpoint of any side, if I draw a parallel line to the third side, it should also meet the midpoint of this line. So clearly, G is the midpoint of B C. So this is how we can prove. Now let's write it down. First of all, we are saying in triangle. A D B in triangle A D B E and F are the midpoints. So if I join E F, so E F must be equal to half of A B and E F must be parallel to A B. So this is because of mid. Point theorem, and this is our first equation. And now let's talk about the another triangle, which is triangle B D C. This triangle B D C. One thing we have proved that this line is parallel to this line, and this line is given parallel to this. So clearly, this line must be parallel to this. EF is parallel to AB. We have proved, and AB is parallel to DC. It is given to you. So clearly, here DC must be parallel to EF. So. If DA, DC is parallel to EF, so clearly, uh, this is so clearly, DC must also be parallel to FG. If this line is parallel to this, so because this is the same line, so clearly, this also be parallel to this. And from this midpoint, if I draw a parallel line, so it should meet. The midpoint of the third line. So, this is how we can prove that G is the midpoint because if we draw a parallel line from the midpoint. it should meet the mid point of the third side so this is how we can prove that g is the mid point of g is the mid point of side bc
So this is how we can prove the first part. <coughs> now let's prove the second part. In the first here we have proved that EF is equal to half of AB because E and F are the midpoints of triangle ADB. Here we have proved that in this triangle these are the midpoints. So clearly this line must be half of this. So first, firstly we have proved that EF is equal to half of AB. This is from first equation here. Similarly, in the second part, what we have proved that F and G are also the midpoint. So clearly, if I join the midpoint, so this line must be half of this line. Again, this is because of midpoint theorem. So FG must be equal to half of DC. These two I have proved by the help of midpoint theorem. This I have, I have written, uh, I can write after this and if I join these two equations so on the left hand side it will be EF plus FG and on the right hand side it will be half AB plus half DC and this EF and FG which is EF and FG can be written as EG so this complete line can be written as EG and half can be taken common. So this will be BA plus DC. So this is how you can prove the second part. Here you have to prove that EG is equal to half of AB plus DC. So this is how you can solve the second part. In the next video we will solve the B part of question number 10th. Thank you.